Okay, so I haven't been recording much because I've been a little busy. I took a break from the shed, finishing that up just because so much stuff is in the way. Now that all of my wood is here. So I finally got all of my cedar, every piece of treated wood that I needed as well. And so I've been working from this pile so far. I have two, four by eight and four inches bed. <laughs> That's the first one. That's the second one. And my three by 10 bed is currently in progress. So this is the four by eight. I built them with two by sixes, four of them. And then I used two by twos on the inside. I lined them with one on each corner and then added one in the middle as well. So again, these are four by eight beds. This is the three by 10. This is actually gonna be a tomato cage. So instead of using just the little two by twos, I actually did most of this trim in a two, uh, two by four cedar on the insides as my braces because it's gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna be uh, putting removable panels there in order to keep the birds out. So I am finishing up the construction on this. Basically, I built each panel. I'll have somebody else record me actually doing that. And then brought all four sides over to the garden area and assembled them on site. Um, I've got the shovel out here because we were moving some of the gravel out of the way um, to straighten out the trim where the gravel was because it wasn't butting up to the garden bed. So I just took those braces out and you can see like this is one of the areas where a brace was. I'll reattach it um, once we get everything where I want it to be because they were not exactly straight. And that's fine because the wood's going to help make everything straight now. Now my garden is built on a slope because the backyard has a drainage slope. Most properties do. So right now this garden bed is out of whack. It is definitely on the lean that way so I am actually getting ready to put a pressure treated two by four all of this is cedar but for this particular piece at the very bottom I'm putting a pressure treated two by four under this bed to support this one side making it higher so that it's a little bit more level um, being such a big bed the slope is so drastic visual visually that it's gonna bother me forever if I don't I'm using the pressure treated because it doesn't make sense to put cedar there um, and, and it's going to be so deep that plants aren't going to touch this one piece of wood that's going to be on the corner bottom of this bed so I'm not worried about any food poisoning or anything leaching in but this is where I am so far this is three of the six beds that I'm building all the other beds are going to be smaller so I'll go into detail when I get to that point but wanted to show you where I'm at so far. Yay!